Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I installed running boards or side steps on my Ram ProMaster. If you guys want to get the same running boards, I'll link them in the description down below. Well, here it is guys. Enjoy. What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be trying to install some running boards on the side of my van. Those are also known as side steps. And I'm going to have one for the driver's side right here. I'm going to have one over here for obviously the passenger side. Something I'm kind of concerned about. I do have my little heater uh, exhaust and um, muffler right there. And I have to think, I think I kind of have to install it in that area. So hopefully it works. Let me show you guys the boards real quick. And I kind of laid everything out here in the garage. I have some various mounting brackets here you have the hardware the screws nuts bolts etc in there um this thing is actually like a uh, combination piece because there's two one and two these are two long pieces those will bind together to create one long piece and then this is just my short little run for the uh, driver's side I think the instructions suggest to start with combining the two long running boards for the passenger side first. So I'm probably going to start with that and see what happens. So let's get to it. All right. So for our first order of business, we're going to connect these two pieces. You're going to take a bolt, one washer on there. We're going to thread it through one side. Let me And these, these holes that are cut in here are pretty, pretty fine, so it might take some wiggling. You might even have to just like thread it in there. I kind of wish that it had a little bit more clearance there to get like a ratchet in, but it's fine. I made do with my little handheld vise and a good old fashioned wrench. So on to the next step. All right, so now I'm gonna install this back plate onto here. It's just gonna go on with uh, four bolts, four flat washers and four lock washers. So let's do that. We're going to be using the middle holes here for now and we are going to take your bolt, lock washer, flat washer and there are already on the inside of here there are some uh, I think they call them uh, glued glued or, or welded I think nuts so that's what we're going to thread into and before we tighten anything down as always Try to get all your bolts in place so we don't tighten and realize that one's not quite lined up and now we can't get it in. Because it's all about getting it in here at Dalton's Adventures. Okay, now we're just going to attach this cover. I don't know if it matters. Oh, wait, faces, I guess not. With some rivets. Not ribbits, rivets. So we're just gonna snap this into place. Flip it over. Alright, get all lined up, and I think these guys just kinda snap right into place. Uh is that seriously supposed to hold it? Okay, so I was indeed missing a component. So we take this plastic female rivet piece and then we're gonna have this male piece that goes down inside of there and causes it to expand. So you kinda just pop it in. I don't think I really 
I don't think I need to like screw it or anything. I think it's just good to go like that. I'll see, I'll see how. So right now, if you do it without the male piece, it just like pulls right out. But this one with the male piece in, yeah, it seems pretty locked in there, so. I mean, at least as locked as this like plastic wear can be. Take that with a grain of uh, plastic salt. And these ones I think I actually do need to like uh, just kind of get a little extra sauce behind them. Make sure they're all pushed down in there. Perfect. See how that Larry uh, Yeah, it feels feels fairly on there. I'm not sure if that seemed like a lot of work or a long time, but that was step one of, can you see that? Step one of 14. So, all right, moving on to step two then. For this step, I need the driver front mounting bracket and the driver front support bracket. Unfortunately, those are labeled accordingly. All right, so I'm gonna take my driver's mounting plate and support, and we are gonna connect them just like so, but we are not going to tighten anything yet. So take your hex bolt, take your flat washer, and run it through like so. Then we're gonna have another flat washer, and this is actually one of the lock nuts not like the hex nuts that we were using before. And so, like I said, we're not gonna tighten anything too tight yet. We're just gonna put it on there so it's kinda, it's on but not locked down. Just like so, loosey goosey. All right, let's show you what we're working with here. So we're just gonna pull this little rubber piece out. Putting this guy in, and we're going to use this plastic plastic washer to hold him in place, ish. Should go on there. That's just gonna make sure he doesn't like fall back in there because we definitely don't want that. Now I need a flat washer, a lock washer, and a hex nut. This guy to go on right here. Try not to bump that in because again, I don't want him to fall in. So we're gonna do flat washer first. These are the big daddy flat washers too. And we got our lock washer. And then we got our hex nut. Okay, so I basically installed the other side the same way. There's just one subtle difference. And that is, you see that instead of mounting up against the side, the support bracket just mounts to the showing here mounts to the underside here so it's just mounting in there vertically instead of horizontally like the, uh, the other one but nothing's tightened down yet this is how it looks so far these are just real, real wobbly I don't know if this even needs to be classified as a step you're just grabbing two carriage bolts here you're gonna drop them in drop it in and then, notice they have the corners cut. You drop it in and rotate it. If you try to rotate it the wrong way, they won't line up. And if you rotate it the other way, they'll line up just fine, so. All right, that's step eight, I think. <laughs> all right, so that last step was pretty easy. We have our little sliders in place, so now we're just gonna attach them onto these guys with four large washers and four uh, 
Loch Ness, uh, the Loch Ness Monster. Okay guys, so right here, we're gonna line up these little support brackets with the front of our pinch weld. I'm gonna mark that with a Sharpie, and we're gonna drill it out with our 516 drill. We're gonna do that for the front and for the back. So let's have at it, wear your ear protection, wear your eye protection. Or maybe I'm just a I don't know. And I kind of already have it in the spot where I want it more or less. Obviously nothing's tightened, so I'll still have that ability to move it around, but might want to do that and then get the hole as far away from the edge of the weld if you can and try to avoid the thicker parts that's where the actual pinch happened if you can't avoid it you can't avoid it but started drilling this hole and it was a little low so i moved over to that hole which is i'm much happier with and then over here I got this guy, so let's try to mount this thing now. So before I run the bolts through the pinch weld um, and the hole, the hole in the pinch weld that I just drilled out, I'm gonna cover it with some uh, good old-fashioned Rust-Oleum just to uh, help prevent any potential rust from getting up in there. Should take but a moment. I'll give it a little time to dry. I'll go eat some lunch. And I'll be RB. All right, guys, that paint should be dry, so we're gonna throw those uh, bolts in here. No. With that, it's been four years, 84 years, and the paint's dry. We'll focus on that, probably not. So we got our flat washer, our bolt. Run this bad boy through here. And I know you want to go through there. Baby, you get me ice and fire. Okay, now that officially all the hardware is mounted, as you guys can see over there, looking pretty. All that's left to do is to kind of get it all right where I want it and then cinch everything down. Everything all cinched down. not a ton of footing to step on when I'm getting out, but a little bit of flex, that's okay though. All right, so for this other side, we're basically gonna do the exact same thing we just did, only on a little bit of a bigger scale. So let me show you here. So I have the main, that's gonna be the front bracket. I have these three supporting brackets, and then I have all these little guys that I need to attach to these. So I'm not going to bother to film it, I'm just going to attach it with this hardware over here and over here, over the place. And then once I get those all attached to each other, I'll uh, be back here. So I'll see you in a minute. So I need to install four more of these and then I'm going to put those new braces on the actual van. And I already showed you guys this on the driver's side, so I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. I just want to show you, this actually sits around my heater, exhaust, quite well, nothing in contact, nothing in contact, and then the only trouble that I just realized is when I try to bolt this through here, it's going to be in the way of that muffler. Okay, so I've got all the support brackets mounted on, let me show you. So. We've got one, two, and three. They're not as even as I was hoping for. As you can see, there's a big gap in the spacing over here. And the reason for that is because uh, the only other hole 
that I had available for mounting. It's further away. This distance right here is a lot further away than than like this distance right here. And that's what those two are also going to be like. So ugh, I kind of had to have them spaced a little bit, a little bit funky here, but we're going to run with it. And then also this I just unbolted right now. So I'll be able to drill, I'll be able to drill through here and hopefully not have any problems. Once I get this in place, I should be able to just put that right back up as well, so. That's the only major difference between the two sides. Otherwise, the rest of this is gonna be installed the exact same way as you guys saw on the other side. All right, guys, and that's how you install these bad boys. Hopefully that was easy to follow along. Let me know if you have any questions down below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys next time.